It's Thanksgiving. We're doing another tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make apple pie today. You're going to start out by washing your apples. I like to do slightly warm water to try to get some of that wax off. And um, just try to make sure that they are clean. There's no dirt, nothing like that. But we are going to peel. So because we make so much of it, we actually have an apple peeler. But you can also just do it by hand with a paring knife. But we're going to peel the apple. And this also cuts it really nicely. So you can see that it has already been sliced. So we're just gonna take our knife and cut it into six. Um, and then it'll turn into pieces like that. And we're gonna do that to about 15 pounds of apples because we're making a few pies today. Okay, so we've rolled out our pie dough. That's a secret recipe and I'm not sharing that one yet. Um, and I have my bottom already in here and we have filled, um, or we've sprinkled some flour. That basically helps to soak up the apple juices so that you don't have a watery pie. You have a thick, delicious pie. Anyway, then we're going to pile the apples in and then we do some spices and we put the top on. You do want to heap your apples uh, because they are going to cook down quite a bit and you don't want a flat pie. So make sure that they are rising a bit above that pie crust. Uh, then three quarters of a cup of sugar. You just... Sprinkle that in, getting it all over as much as you can, spreading it evenly. Then you want to sprinkle cinnamon. This is something we don't really measure, we just kind of go for it. But be generous, nothing is worse than a tasteless apple pie. So you can see that it's quite a bit of cinnamon and it's looking absolutely delicious. We're going to put the top on now and we're going to be cutting a really pretty design into it to make it fancy for Thanksgiving. Uh, and then we're going to tuck and crimp uh, and pop it in the oven. So we've got the top on the pie. We tucked the top crust underneath the bottom crust, pinched it and then crimped the edge. And that will help to seal in all of our um, apples so that you know because they get juicy while you bake and you don't want that juice running out over the edge of your pie plate. Uh, we're gonna put it in the oven now uh, at 450 for 10 minutes and then 350 for 40 45 minutes depending on uh, what the pie is looking like. It's kind of a touch and go. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and I will show you the finished result. All right and here's the finished pie gold and brown. You see that the apples sunk quite a bit. Um, so it's kind of, the top is kind of hollow looking, but that's all right. Uh, the crust will crumble when you cut into it, but the point is for it to look pretty and it tastes good.